Hello, English teachers. Do you teach young learners? Then you know that teaching children is a challenge, but it is also rewarding. Anyone who has children or teaches children knows that it takes a lot of energy and patience. When I taught children, I was always sweating at the end of class. I was moving around while singing songs or playing games. I often used big gestures to keep students' attention and to show the meaning of words. What about you? Do you have the same experience? Why does it take so much energy to teach children? Let's think about the characteristics of young learners. It's time for a brainstorm. I'm going to give you 15 seconds to write down ideas on a piece of paper. Write down as many words as you can. Write down words that describe young learners. I'm going to write mine down in a word web. Ready? Go. Now, if you need more time, just pause the video. What words are on your paper? Here are some of the words I wrote down in my web. Active, energetic, spontaneous, can't sit still, and touches things. Young learners are what we call kinesthetic learners. They like to move and wiggle their bodies. You can't expect them to sit still in class all day. They also learn well through movement and gestures. They're tactile in their learning style. They love to touch and play with objects. So if you want to teach students what a ball is, give them a ball to bounce and throw. As you can see, Understanding children's characteristics can help us make an effective classroom. Your activities and approaches should be developmentally appropriate. This means your teaching is based on how children develop and learn. It should be appropriate for their characteristics. The goal? Effective learning in your classroom. For example, if my young learners are kinesthetic learners, then I should prepare activities that encourage them to get out of their seats and move around. I could play Simon Says. Let's try it. Stand up. Ready? Simon Says, touch your head. Simon Says, touch your shoulders. Touch your nose. Did you do it? Simon didn't say. Now, look at your paper. Do you have other words? Maybe you think young learners are imaginative and curious. Yes, they are. Use stories like fairy tales for your imaginative young learners. Or take a walk outside and look for bugs for your curious young learners. Maybe you wrote easily distracted or short attention. That may be true. Then use activities they like, such as games or videos, and don't stay too long on any activity. Keep the pace of your class quick and exciting. Think about the characteristics of your young learners and always make your activities and approaches match those characteristics. <laughs>